now we're with the Director of Athletics, Dr. Daryl Gross. And Daryl, you, you've got your man. H how did it all come about? Well, you know, at the end of the day, Matt, it's, it comes down to who wants to be at Syracuse? Who wants to make Syracuse special? Who has the passion for the place? It's, it's not just the body of work because there's a lot of great candidates out there. And we, we looked at a, a, a lot of people. We were very thorough. It was, a, it was a wonderful search. It was a tireless search. Uh, we looked everywhere under every corner to make sure that we we're going to bring in someone to Syracuse that could we feel could win somebody that had true passion for the place someone that understood recruiting in the Northeast and and being global at the same time and and uh, you know when you put it all together we got the perfect guy by having Doug Marone uh, an SU grad someone whose passion for the job is is unmatched this is what his dream was in his profession. He's prepared himself for this. And uh, today I, I'm, I'm so honored and so happy to have him to be part of our program. It's well chronicled. You talk to a number of people, a dozen people or more, let's say. Uh, was there something that he said or did in the interview process that really vaulted him ahead of those people? Or, or is it a combination? Your insistence on having somebody that really gets the area, the family, the campus. Well, he's a winner. He's a true winner. It came out very well in his interviews. Every time we interviewed him, he's very infectious. People were overwhelmed. We had a wonderful committee of people that included the likes of Art Monk and Floyd Little and Tim Green and some great trustees like Bob Myron and Coach Mack, Howie Fanstell, John Chappell. Those are good guys, and he was he, he overwhelmed all of us. I mean, he was he was so impressive, very detailed with his plan, very uh, organized with with the future of this program. He talks about winning. He he's not shy about that. Um, you look at his body of work. You look at what he's done with the Saints. You look at what he's been exposed to. You look at their high flying offense. I mean, you're talking about excitement coming into the dome now. You're talking about a guy that if he if he can wants to get 85, 90 snaps a game. So that means we're going to be playing fast. We're going to be playing, you know, uh, with, with electricity. And our student athletes are going to love it. This is what student athletes want to play for these days. You know, here's a guy that brings in tremendous college credentials. In addition, brings in tremendous pro credentials. And, and that's the kind of educators that I want. Jim Beheim, who's coached the Olympic team and the Kobe Bryants and also has been a great college coach and a Hall of Famer. We have that kind of cachet with Doug Marone as well. And so this is, this is exciting how he'll be able to touch the community. He's a Bronx-born kid. He knows New York State so well. We talk about this being New York's college team. Well, Doug Marone is New York's own college football head coach. And you talk to those high school coaches who say, we look up to Syracuse. We want to send our best players to Syracuse. And we're looking at them saying, we want to re represent for the state of New York. So Doug Marone is a perfect person. He's aware of all those coaches. He's been clinicking them for the, all the years he's been in the NFL, he's kept his roots, he's kept his ties. He will not be unfamiliar to the recruiting trail. He will, he will hit the ground running, and, and, and that's what really excites me about hiring Doug Marone. He talks about the, the lure of the university. You just hired the offensive coordinator of the top offense in the National Football League to come here. He's used to indoor football, I would imagine, right? I mean, that's, that's part of the deal. He comes from the Saints, and one of the reasons they're successful, I would think, is they play half their games indoors, and more than half the games are indoors. Uh, here in this facility, and that has to open up, I would think, some possibilities offensively. Yeah, ab absolutely. Obviously, he's familiar with it. And the nice thing about the pro guys like him and being working with Sean Payton, and Sean Payton tells me all the time, he says, Daryl, you got to understand one thing. Doug sets up my offense. He leads my offense. He is the architect of what we're doing. And, and to hear things like uh, that the Oklahoma coaches came to see Doug Marone uh, in the offseason to instill what they're doing, and they just scored 60 points in five straight games in a row. Just, just you add that up with the dome. You add that up with enhancing our recruiting, and and the possibilities there. That I think there's going to be some excitement and some tremendous energy for our football program in the future. I really believe that. How much talk was there about the challenges that lie ahead, and and what he will do, and what you will do to address them? Well, we've obviously the challenges are that we haven't been winning. Um, obviously, I feel that Coach Robinson did a, a job of of laying some foundation here. And it's something that Doug can enhance and, and bring in more kids, and we can get that going. So, so the recruiting is going to be key. And then the winning, the attitude to put the esteem in those kids, to show them how to win, and to start winning in this program. That's what's so important here. The longevity that, that Doug brings to the table, this is where he wants his final job to be. And, and, I, and I, I find that to be a, a strong characteristic of this coach that we have now, that he's, he wants to be here. He, 
he, he's snowing today here in Syracuse, <laughs> and that just makes him feel even more at home. And, and those things are very, very important to us. Uh, um, you know, we're talking about a guy that's on the short list of a lot of NFL teams. He was on the short list. And now we have taken away one of the NFL's top candidates to have him be at Syracuse for, for, for longevity. And to us, that's very exciting. The idea, just to clarify that, is here's a guy who is wanted by NFL coaches but has chosen to come here and is not, at this point, actively seeking or looking for a, a jump back to the league. No, he's made it his lifelong dream, uh, his career dream, to be at Syracuse. And this is where he wants to be, and, and he's the right man for the job. There's so many people that have called me. Subsequently, some of the best people in, in college football and pro ball have called to say, you guys have the right guy there. And, uh, you know, I'm sure you'll run into Coach Mack later who, who just uh, swears by Doug Marone. And it was just fun going through the process and getting to know him. And to, to lay out all, as you mentioned, all the candidates that we saw, some wonderful candidates, some very, very successful people in life, uh, not only in football but in life as well. And to see Doug emerge through all of that and to be so passionate and to be so detailed and, and, and brilliant with his plan and his body of work spoke for itself. And so, so we're very excited about that. Lastly, Darrell, let's just hit the, the nitty gritty here. You hired a guy who has a job in the National Football League. The Saints are not headed to the playoffs but do have two more weeks of games. So what do you see happening here in these next two weeks in terms of assembling the staff, how much time he'll be in and out of town, and uh, recruiting? Well, first of all, we can all feel good about the fact that we are one week or six days after the regular season ended. And I think that's fabulous. Very seldom do you have a search that ends that way. Now, this year was unique in the fact that people were letting people go early in the season, and so some people have hit the ground running and all those things, so this doesn't seem that it's, it's this great timing deal, but keep it in perspective. It well, it's really, a month earlier than Coach Robinson was brought on board. Thank you. And, and so to be, say we're ahead of the game is we're ahead of the game. Uh, Doug's already off taking his recruiting test. He's, uh, there's a lot he can do right there from New Orleans. There's a dead period coming up, all those type of things. He will hit the ground recruiting and be able to assemble a staff. We, we already have a detailed plan. We talked about that during the interview process of what his detailed plan was. Um, at, but at the same time, we're, we're not asking him to just, to just jettison the, the, the Saints. I mean, he has an obligation there, and we're classy people, and everything we need to get done now, we can get done. Uh, the people already know who Doug Marone is. I mean, that, that's out in the world, and, and uh, high school coaches know who Doug Marone is, and, and uh, he'll make a big impact right away in recruiting. Very good, Daryl. Uh, congratulations on bringing uh, Doug Marone aboard, and we'll uh, look forward to talking with you here in the next few weeks in the process. Thank you.